Hi, today we're gonna drill out Wi Fi module um, with a little bit of it towards the end. Um, you know, the baseband board is very sensitive to heat, so you gotta watch out uh, when you want to remove the baseband CPU or the Wi Fi module. So we use a hand drill. I'm using a hand drill here with different bits. Start with a spherical, large sized uh, ball tip. Then change it. Once I remove like the upper layers, and then I shift to the smaller spherical uh, tip. You gotta watch out for the side components. If you damage a, a resistor or a capacitor, there's no 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 worries. Just leave it to the end. You can remove it and replace it once you, you drill out uh, the Wi-Fi module. Here I, I change now the tip to a smaller spherical tip. And and you can see this is like the lower uh, layer of, of the module. When you get to the, bra uh, the brass or copper, that's the last layer. And after that, you'll see the pads. And it should be silvery. So that's the hint. Be patient. Yeah, see the copper is removed and the silver is shown up. We need to vacuum uh, the dust created by it, the debris, as often as you can. The more you vacuum the debris, the easier for you to see and control your drilling. So this is the last layer. As you can see, the sides are still there, but I'm going to change the tip. Yeah. I'll change the tip. This will give you more control on removing the edges. Uh, and you can see the depth. You've got to be careful with the step not to drill all the way through. Anyways, you know. And the walls um, I have to make the walls uh, as thin as possible without damaging the pads so do it slowly vacuum the debris as much as you can You need to use light touch with this step. Yeah, wherever it's thick, you need to drill more.
Now it's done. Just use a little bit of alcohol and a cotton ball to remove the dust. I use low melt solder paste and uh, soldering iron to go on the edges and uh, remove the high temperature solder. Uh, makes it easier to remove the boundaries, the wall, the walls of uh, the module. I cut an opening in the wall. If you can concentrate on the top left corner, that gives you an edge. You can use low heat, 250, 240 degrees, and then scrape it off. Don't use too much force if you. If you're using too much force, that means you've done something wrong. So, see, so I had a problem here. I couldn't. I didn't want to use much, any more, more forceful. Uh, so I drilled it a little bit more, thin out uh, the walls. You get to the bottom, you have to have a light touch with this drill bit. clean and then use hot air with a blade because I'm using more soldering iron now but Now I use hot air and it's much more easier than before. The corners sometimes becomes difficult because it's thicker. Just be careful not to remove the pads. Right? Now we're gonna wick up, wick uh, the solder off the pads.
screen. Final wicking. With a smaller iron tip. Now remove the side glue underfill, whatever you want to call it. Use again no heat, two forty to thirty. Scrape off the underfill. Where you have wherever you have damaged capacitors, just remove them and then you can replace them. Almost done. It's to replace the capacitor and a coil, I think one capacitor and one coil. Yeah, this is the final result after that's it.